This week on TGC News, Wilson Combat goes 6 mil, a 0% SCAR 17, and yes, a 24 karat gold AK. If you need gun accessories, check out Fab Defense. They have all kinds of parts for the AR platforms, like pistol grips, butt stocks, foregrips, and more. I'm really enjoying this sort of mid-range setup on my digital camo AR with the wrap stock, gratis grip, and spike bipod. There's also flip-up sights and parts for your AK or even your pistol, from long-range setups to compact AR pistols and everything in between. Fab Defense has something for everyone. To learn more, check out fab-defense.com. Welcome back to another episode of the Gun Collective News, the only gun news show that covers things that you actually care about. My name is John Patton, and we're going to kick this thing off this week with something a bit, I don't know, more ridiculous than normal. It's from our friends at Atlantic Firearms. You guys might remember them from our How to Stop an AK with Food video and some machine gun stuff, and we just had a lot of fun with those guys, where we had some amazing slow motion video. We just, we had a ton of fun with them. Anyway, they now have a 24 karat gold AK for sale. Yeah. The gun underneath the drip is a Polish WBP import called the 762 SC Jack. And the finish work was done by a company called Gold Guns Texas. In the video that Atlantic did on the gun, Matt is showing off that a lot of the metallic parts have been stripped of their original finish, polished, mirror polished, you have to do that first, and then plated with this actual 24 karat gold. The bolt itself is one of the only part that's not plated and polished, likely because the gun is meant to actually function, and they didn't want to change tolerances too much, etc., and make it all stick together. It wouldn't be good. The guns also come with an ALG trigger group because they wanted to keep the steel mags that are also plated mirrored gold, and 922R compliance is a thing. Blah, blah, blah. I won't get into it. Now, yes, you can get other gold-plated guns, but it's rare to find actual gold on those, but rather a gold-colored paint or metallic plating. It's usually not actual gold. Now, the standard jack rifle is about $1,300 retail, which is not what I would call cheap, but it's not a junk rifle. The gold-plated one? That's a bit more spendy at a retail price of $5,399.99. They say that this is the ultimate man cave showpiece on the website, and all I can think of is that this is the ultimate AK showpiece and needs to be shot and have a matching dead air Wolverine on it. They're like, come on, we gotta, we gotta go through that. We gotta see if that'll come off, right? <laughs> I need something like this in my life. I really need it in my life, and I might have to wait till retirement. I'd love to hear from you guys on whether or not a actual gold-plated AK has a place in your life. How many warlords are out there in the TGC audience? Moving on from there, Wilson Combat announced that they are now chambering AR-15s in 6 Arc. For those that don't remember, 6 Arc was announced back in 2020 and promises to be the latest whiz-bang super accurate cartridge, but instead of an AR-10, it fits into an AR-15, sort of 6.5, 6, six mil Creed more shrunk down. That idea. Anyway, the Wilson variant of this chambering comes with an 18 inch fluted barrel made from stainless steel. It has a mid length gas system and a muzzle threaded 5 8 by 24. Beyond that, the receivers are made from billet aluminum and the 12.6 inch hand guards are covered in M lock slots, at least on the tactical hunter model, that is. The recon tactical model is slightly different with a longer rail, slightly different trigger, and a different camo. It's really, really similar. The price tag for this new stuff, the base MSRP is $25.50 and goes up depending on what trinkets you add. Duh. Honestly, I thought it would be more expensive than $2,500, and that doesn't sound horrible for a premium gun. It doesn't sound like it doesn't hit me and go, whoa, that's a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I also have some big expectations to go with that premium price, though. Rolling forward from there, we're getting a step closer to being able to assemble your own FN SCAR pattern rifle. A company called Imperial Arms recently released something they're calling the Cypher and Cypher X Zero. The Cypher is the SCAR 16 pattern, and the X is the 17 pattern. Long story shorter, these are incomplete receivers, aka 80%. Now, 
it's really tough to say what's going to happen with these regarding the new BS with ATF, but I thought these were worth mentioning before that goes into effect. They come with the BCG rails unfinished, the barrel clearance cavity is also unfinished, and the barrel index notches are also unfinished. So that's kind of where the incomplete part comes. These are not as straightforward as the common AR 80% lowers, but because they are unfinished, there is no FFL needed for shipment, and they come unserialized, at least for now. And then from there, you could attach one of Imperial Arms MTMs, or mil-spec trigger modules, that allows you to use an AR-15 trigger and standard AR-10 mags in a SCAR pattern rifle. Neat. That's neat. But... Being that this stuff is a slight bit less common than ARs, the prices are a bit higher. The MTM I mentioned comes in at 450 bucks, and the Cypher and Cypher X Zeros both come in at 350. Or if you want to buy 10, they're 3,000 bucks. <laughs> now, I am left with some questions. I'm not a SCAR expert, so forgive me, but how easy is it to gather the rest of the parts needed to finish the build out? I found some bits and pieces, but there wasn't a site where I could just go and buy everything. And then on top of that, how difficult would it be to machine this receiver into a usable part? You're looking at a substantial amount of time into something like this. However, a standard FN SCAR carries an MSRP of nearly four grand for the non-reciprocating charging handle version. Could this sort of balance out? Tough to say without going through the process. But I am sure that someone out there in the audience will chime in with more info, better info, whatever it is. Hopefully somebody chimes in. And before we move on to industry news, I wanted to show you one of the funniest, not funniest with a cold, Elmer funniest things I've seen in a while. At least, I don't know, it, it, it hits me weird. It's from Galco, a big time holster company, and the product is called the Change Carrier. The idea is that you use it as a little change purse, and if you need to, it could be used as a blackjack-style impact weapon. Now, for those unaware, a blackjack weighs anywhere between 8 and 15 ounces normally. In order to carry around 8 ounces of weight using only coins, you would have to stuff roughly $10 in quarters into this thing. That's an entire roll of quarters. It's not small. I am all for having a backup plan in non-permissive environments, but for FUD's sake, is this the best answer? Is it? It might be. I don't know. Is it? And the price for an empty change purse? 59 bucks. To be fair, I think this would be one of the only things that would be likely to get through security without much issue. I, th I think that could happen. So I guess if that's your thought process, it might actually make some sense. Maybe, as per usual. I might be a naysayer. I usually am. Sound off in the comments and let me know your thoughts down there. Clickety clack, typeity type. One grade does it all with Rockset, the engineering adhesive. This non toxic, odorless, and non flammable ceramic cement is one of the best ways to keep your gun ready to rock. You like that pun? I made up that. That's mine. I did that. We use it for muzzle devices mounting pistol optics, scope rings, things of that nature. And I know you guys could come up with a ton more uses than we have. And don't worry, if you ever need to unlock it, you can actually soak this stuff in hot water for 20 minutes and boom, good as new. Not only that, but it resists temperatures from negative 350 all the way up to 2015 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it perfect for gun stuff. To get 10% off, Use our code GUNCOLLECTIVE over at flexbar.com or go to the link in the description on our Instagram bio. Use that same code GUNCOLLECTIVE to get your discount at checkout. In gun industry news this week, Ruger has a safety bulletin, aka a recall, for the SR-22 pistol. There's a gun that's falling short compared to new 22s. Anyway, Ruger says in rare instances, the frame inserts are not properly secured, and that can render the firing pin blocker lifter and hammer block ineffective. They describe a slack or I guess a loose trigger situation with little resistance. And also the gun could fire if the gun is decocked. There's more info on Ruger's website to see if your gun is effective. They go through what's normal and what's not normal. So go check that out if you have one. Now that that's out of the way, let's check in on the March background check numbers. I missed these when they came out, so here we go. 
In March 2022, there were just under 3.1 million background checks, and that brings our yearly total to 8.2 million, far below the 12.5 million from last year in the first three months. However, it is still the third highest March on record. That tells me that although not as strong as before, demand is still up. And as per usual, I will point out that this is not a one-to-one -one ratio gun sold for a multitude of reasons, but it's a good trend indicator. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp announced recently that Norma Ammo is moving to his state, just outside of Savannah. This was likely in motion prior to Beretta Holdings buying Ruag Ammo Tech, which is the parent company of Norma. That recently happened, and this was likely in motion prior to that. I also want to point out that this location puts them only about 30 minutes from Daniel Defense, and it includes them in a huge list of gun and ammo companies based in Georgia. Kemp mentioned that their new location in close proximity to the Port of Savannah puts them near the top port in the U.S. for exports, and hints that that positioning will be a good thing for them. So if that's true, cheers to a stronger ammo industry with more moves like this. That's great. More ammo is always better. More betterness, right? It's time now for Weekly Gunspiration. This is a segment where we pick the top three pictures sent in by you guys that would inspire folks to get out and shoot or just be a good part of the shooting community. In third this week is a name I'm going to butcher, Tristan von Wasserspeer. I hope that's right. I'm guessing that's, I don't know. With a picture of him with an M1 carbine sort of in motion. I, I love shots like this. I really love seeing that brass come out of the gun, especially when there's a little bit of smoke. That's cool. Super cool shot, man. You'll be getting the TGC logo patch and Gundamentalist keychain. Next is Lucas Kleeman with just another day in the shop, drinking what is probably a white claw in a styrofoam cup and petting a pibble whilst a rifle is slung. Good pick, 11 out of 10, would laugh at again. You'll get the same things as Tristan. And the winner this week is Andy Snyder with practice, practice, practice. The only thing missing here is a banjo. <laughs> And that is a really, that's actually a really sweet Suppress 22, man. Nice. You will be getting uh, the big old prize pack, the, the Disciples of Freedom patch and some other stuff. I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of stuff. And before anyone says anything, I am still behind on getting these out the door. Forgive me. Winners, please send us an email to theguncollective at gmail.com with your info so I can get your prizes out eventually. To submit your inspirational pictures, I need you to post them on Instagram or in our Gundamentalist Facebook group with the hashtag TGC Gunspiration, and maybe you could win something next week. Now, if you enjoyed this show and you want to see an ad-free version, check us out on floatplane.com. I know a lot of people are just tired of promos all the time. Go to Floatplane. Watch us over there. And after you click the like button on this video, be sure to hit the secret affiliate links down in the description. That would be a massive help for us. If you're on Instagram, click the link in our bio. There's a ton of cool stuff in there. And of course, don't forget to get subscribed for more gun news every single week. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Yep, it's over. But don't worry, you can click on the video up top to watch last week's show. And the one below that is the one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Check them out and let me know what you think.